All right, so this is my room. So you find your way back home. Okay, first thing, my favorite part is my desk right here. Here you see I just have my external monitor right here. This isn't a computer, it's just my monitor for my laptop. And I use it for graphic design related stuff because I need to be able to see what I'm doing. It's my little rose gold keyboard. And I've got this Apple mouse with this little boho rug mouse pad. And here is my little schedule for the week. And these are just some like sunglasses that I got for free. Like I only had to pay the shipping and they don't look cute on me, but they're kind of cute for decoration. This is a picture of my sister. And I keep my coffee grinder in my bedroom just because none of my roommates grind coffee. And so I don't want to be like super loud grinding coffee in the kitchen because it's this coffee grinder is like so loud. Oh, this is a beautiful little rosary that I got in Mexico years ago. I used to go to Mexico like every year and I just bought it from this lady that like makes and sells jewelry. If you're from Southern California, you remember how like everyone was wearing rosaries weirdly and it was like a trend. Um, I never really wore this because my relatives are actually like they're all Hispanic and so like most of them are Catholic. I didn't want to be disrespectful to them but I just love the beading on it. Like, let me get a close up of this beading. Yeah, there's like a closer shot on the beading. It's so beautiful. And then I've just got this super adorable little amethyst air plant. And I think I'm gonna do a crystal collection video, but I just actually got this off Etsy from a company called Airfriend. This area of my desk is just like my little sacred space. I've got just a lot of things that mean a lot to me. Here we have a picture of me, my sister, and my brother when we were little. And this is another picture of my brother from when he was in the Navy. This is a hair piece that I made for myself. And it was obviously fresh, now it's dead, but I made it for my 21st birthday. Um, this is a poem someone gave me. Um, this is just like another crystal and this little vase thing holds my incense and I got it in Costa Rica and it's made from mango wood and it's super pretty. This little deck of cards is so beautiful. I just bought it for the artwork. This is like my favorite card. It's the empathy card. I love it. It's so beautiful. But the artwork is insane. I'll probably, maybe I'll link the Instagram below, the person that sells these and makes them. Then here, this is like my little lotus, um, little lotus flower thing. And I've got some Palo Santo. I've got like this little button that says stay sacred. Um, Project 615 sticker, if you're from Nashville, you know what that is. Some earrings, um, just a lighter with some hemp wick, and it makes lighting that candle way easier. So hemp wick it comes in handy a lot of times. Uh, this is like my tattoo artist sticker thing. And I ordered something off of Poison Apple print shop, I believe. And they sent me this uh, creepy picture of this person, like from like, I don't know how long ago. But it's super creepy, but I loved it. So I just kept it and I keep it on this little flower. Then we've got my incense burner. And here we've got my planner. So I've got the Yamas and the Niyamas, which is like the ethical practice of yoga. I've got Maldor by La Tremont. Here we just have my bed area. And I actually got this lovely tapestry you're seeing in the Middle East. But it's super beautiful and I absolutely love it. I did this with my walls. I just got my air plants and a bunch of photos I hung up on copper wire and string lights and I think it's really pretty. So I've just got a few pillows and my pillow pet and a tapestry of course because I guess I'm basic, but I just hung it up in a kind of cool way. Some of the photos are of my photography, and then other ones are just like ones off Instagram or like some of my older photos from when I was a kid. I don't put a lot of photography here, but I do put some that are like really meaningful to me. Like this one was really special. This photo was like the first image I took where I learned I could like 
speak through photography. This is another one of me and my brother. This is close to where we lived in California growing up by the Devil's Punch Bowl. And then this is us uh, somewhere outside Seattle where he lives now. So, started from the bottom, now we're here. And so here we have my little beauty area and my old roommate got me this flag. Uh, I used to have a British roommate, a roommate from New York, and then me. In our living room we hung up like the flag from the UK, a uh, California flag, a New York flag, and an American flag because my friend from England, she's a US citizen now. So it was like all these places, but we came together. So it was super fun, but I don't live with them anymore. Just got like these jars for my brushes and some like pretty oil from like Urban Outfitters. And then this like clear acrylic storage system. Um, I've just got this like light up mirror and then these two little succulents and a little treasure chest full of like crystals and I make little wax seals for my letters so that's in there as well. I've got a hand letter to print from a local graphic designer. This is a card that someone gave me. <laughs> I hope your day is as nice as your butt. <laughs> There's nothing too exciting in here. There's just like random disorganization. Oh, I like solve Rubik's cubes. That's like a weird little nerd fact about me. I've got my Canon F1 and this is an awesome camera. And then this is my ultimate baby. This is a Hasselblad. 500C and it is medium format. It is actually the kind of camera that they used to take the photos on the first moon landing. These are actually some cool little tables that I made. We have my paint brushes and my paint palette. I just use a picture frame for my painting palette. Behind my monitor is a canvas that I made and I'm not gonna show you the painting because I only have the first layer on it and it's an oil painting and if you do oil painting, you know the first layer always looks kind of crazy. Up here I've got my little Tibetan prayer flags and I actually bought this dream catcher while I was in Alaska from like Eskimos, which was super cool. I know it's like super basic that I have a dream catcher in my room, but I feel like because I bought it in Alaska, like that's like a pass, you know what I mean? <laughs> Here we have my closet, and I just like hung up these old lace curtains I had with a tension rod. This hat, I got it signed in Chicago by Matt Kemp and Jock Peterson. Um, I almost never wear it now though because it's signed, so unless I'm going to a game, don't really wear it. Here I just have my backpack and my yoga mat. The backpack is by Venke Craft Company and the yoga mat holder is actually something that was given to me when my grandma passed away. She used to do yoga every day. So now I have that because I'm really the only person in my family that does yoga. But yeah, I think that just about covers everything. Um, super small, but I absolutely love it. So that was the tour of my apartment. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you did, leave a like and subscribe for more videos each week. You guys have been so awesome. I'll see you next time. Bye.